Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 5th of April 2022. Sometimes I talk about how people at large are waking up, the Great Awakening, whatever you want to call it. And I know when I talk like that, I get a few people commenting under the video about, really mate, I can't see any evidence of it here. And yeah, you might be forgiven um, to thinking I'm talking a load of old nonsense, especially when you go out and you see almost everybody muzzled up uh, down at your local Sainsbury's or whatever it is. But I have got hard and fast evidence that that is the case now. And you can always tell when you hear stories in your own circle and Lorraine has kind of mentioned there's at least a couple of people that she knows personally and um, and also friends of friends as well who have said they've had numbers one and numbers two but they're not going to have number three and when you kind of comes to hearing about it on your own personal level like that you can be sure that uh, these things are well that they are true and that's kind of been uh, proven by an article I've seen it's in a publication called I just a, a small letter I is all that it's called and in this article they are saying that here in the UK there are eight million people who have had numbers one and two but who have not yet gone for number three. And yeah, okay, some of those might be people who just haven't got round to going and getting it now, but a lot of those people will be people who, despite having numbers one and number two, they have woken up to the fact that, you know, maybe it's not such a good idea to get number three. So, uh, you know, read into that what you will, but it could well be a sign, and I think it is a positive sign that uh, a lot more people out there are waking up. And I'll tell you what, you might think this waking up process is a slow process, but it would be a heck of a lot quicker if it wasn't for all the uh, censorship and everything else that the powers that shouldn't be do to kind of put blockers on these things and with that in mind I've got a bit of news for you you're not going to believe this it is just absolutely uh, crazy I've talked about not really recently um, but I have talked about in past videos about various alternative uh, organizations that there are out there uh, that are getting set up, that are gaining ground. And one of them is a really great homeschooling initiative based down in uh, East Sussex. And it's called, I probably can't even say the, the whole thing because it's obviously attracting unwanted attention. But uh, uh, the initials of it are Hotel Oscar Papa Echo. So that obviously spells a word that is a positive word. And this organization is designed to really take the concept of homeschooling here in England to the next level, really. And it's an organization that's really been gaining ground over the last few months. And in fact, they had a team of people from all over the country, sort of people with skills like you know builders and carpenters and all that, going down there uh, this weekend to help them build uh, kind of a um, sort of a new uh, kind of classroom, I think, or facility for kids who are going to be sort of uh, homeschooled and 
what it is, this organisation. Although it's homeschooling, uh, it is kind of tutor-led, so some of the time at least they can go down to this facility uh, to, you know, kind of just make sure that their education is up to scratch and up to kind of a certain level of quality. And as you might be aware, both here and also I think in a lot of other Western countries, the United States I think as well, there are, well, there is growing interest in homeschooling and I think it is starting to get the powers that shouldn't be a bit worried because obviously they want all the kids in their uh, sort of indoctrination centres uh, to learn all, well, to be well, to learn all the uh, propaganda, basically. And they don't want kind of free-thinking, critical-thinking young people sort of growing up and emerging in a few years' time to challenge governments and the powers that shouldn't, shouldn't be. And they're clearly getting worried because this thing that I want to talk about now that you're not going to believe is this organisation in East Sussex they were kind of, well, they are busy raising funds. They're, yeah, they they are having this sort of work done, these facilities built down there in East Sussex. And there was going to be a boxing match to raise even more funds for this uh, um, kind of uh, organisation that starts with H. And... Well, that's a story in itself. Um, I don't really understand it. I don't know all of these guys. Um, but uh, apparently one of them was kind of calling out certain others, uh, you know, calling them shills and all this kind of thing, uh, all this sort of nonsense. So another one, I think one of the guys, this guy was calling out, was uh, saying, well, you know, put your money where, where your mouth is and I'll challenge you to a boxing match. And we'll get an audience together and, you know, uh, we'll sort of give the proceeds to this organisation that I've been talking about, this homeschooling thing. Anyway, the guy who was calling others out sort of dropped out. He wasn't interested. But uh, there was another guy who stepped up and said, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll sort of uh, give you a boxing bout. Uh, It's all a good cause and everything. And... So this boxing match was organised and it was going to happen in a sort of a couple of months time I think, either next month or the month after and it was starting to gain ground, a lot of people were starting to find out about it and I think it was going to be a really great event and just yesterday I think it was, uh, the council, I'm not sure where the uh, the match was actually actually going to be I believe it was somewhere up north but uh, the council there and the local police have decided to close it down and they needed a license to uh, uh, to hold the event and that's been revoked so yeah you know the whole thing is not going to happen now and the funds for what I'd regard as a very worthwhile cause um, aren't going to be raised, well, I say aren't going to be raised, I mean, the, the guys and girls behind it no doubt will be thinking of other sort of things to do to raise funds as I speak. They're a very resourceful lot. Won't, yeah, this won't keep them down for long. But can you believe it? And can you believe that story? How, you know, you've got this, organization doing great work is a very worthwhile cause they're not doing anyone any harm in fact they've got the potential to do society a heck of a a lot of good and they were going to have this fundraising event which was going to be a lot of fun uh, for a lot of people and okay boxing's not really my thing obviously not to do it um i'm certainly not fit enough to do that uh uh, or from a spectator point of view it's not my thing but i know there's a lot of people who are into it and it would have been a really great 
sort of evening for them and a really great event I'm sure and it would have raised a fair bit of money and you know not doing any anyone any harm but the powers that shouldn't be kind of came up with some uh, half-baked excuse that oh yeah we think there might be trouble there so we better revoke the uh, the license so a little bit of an unbelievable story and it just shows you doesn't it how utterly wicked these powers that shouldn't be really are and but also it shows you I think how frightened they are uh, because uh, this organisation in East Sussex as as we speak at the moment it's a pretty small organisation and I'm sure that the number of people who would have turned up at this uh, boxing thing would have only been a few dozen or maybe a few couple of hundred people and you know the fact that the powers that shouldn't be are uh, scared of relatively small numbers like that just shows you that you know they are going to try and nip these sort of things in the bud they're obviously afraid of well what I'd call the great awakening and people doing active things to make sure that the great awakening happens so a bit of a negative story but I think we can take uh, a positive out of it uh, the powers that shouldn't be are running scared they are scared of us they are scared of the great awakening and I think they know that they can't stop the great awakening and these guys down at the East Sussex thing, they're just going to kind of uh, sidestep this little setback and they'll probably come up with something that's going to raise um, even more money f uh, for them. And if you want to do your little bit, and I never ask people for any money uh, normally or even to give anyone else any money, but if you want to sort of just give two fingers to the powers that shouldn't be you can go to this organization's website i'll put a link to it in the description box below here and you can go in there and once you get to their website as i say it's uh, an organization with the initials hotel oscar papa echo and once you get into their website, you'll see a donate button. And then I'm sure uh, once you click on that, you'll be able to sort of go through and uh, um, give them a, a little bit of money or sort of a, a bigger amount of money, whatever you want to do. Have a big a kind of a, a finger you want to sort of put up to the powers that shouldn't be, I guess. Anyway, with that, I'm going to leave it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.